So I'm here with Mike Tudor, who's CEO of VoteNet. Mike, we just had a primary in Virginia and the turnout was terrible. President Obama bucked the trend and got a lot of people out. What did he do? So, uh, Joanna, it's interesting. There's, there's a lot written about this, actually, and uh, the New York Times ran a whole series, and there's actually a new book called The Victory Lab that talks about oh, the secret science of Obama's success. And so science is the answer, but what does that mean? It's behavioral science, and it's data analytics. And believe it or not, Obama, before he hired a zillion consultants and campaign experts and people that probably were using their guts um, based on maybe some prior things they had done or what they thought would work, he hired a data analytics team, I think it was like 40 or 50 people, and he, he convened a meeting of the 29 leading behavioral scientists in the world. And he got them into a meeting to find out what is the cutting edge research saying about how to induce people or stimulate them to actually take action. What gets me to decide to go buy an article of clothing or to save energy um, or to reuse towels while I'm in a hotel? How do you apply that to voting and getting someone to make the decision to go out and vote? What stimulates them? What induces them to do it? And so Obama used these, these, these two things very, very successfully. And what it meant is ultimately, instead of just saying, hey, I'm going to send out blast emails and I'm going to badger people and remind them to vote, Obama was very scientific. It was about the wording verbiage, the construct of the direct mail pieces that went out. And he would do some really interesting things. He would say, um, before voting, they would run call campaigns and ask people, would you commit to vote? Would you commit to supporting Barack? They even sent direct mail, like pledge cards, that you had to sign your name and your date, almost making like a socially binding pact with Barack. Somehow making the promise made you more likely promise. to act. Exactly. And all the research, whether it's in voting or other areas of behavioral science, says that when you make a promise, you're more likely to follow through when you when you make a commitment. Kids Even, know this when they pinky swear. Exactly right. Exactly right. Now imagine, it's funny, it's almost like treating everybody like a child and using some of those kind of core elements of behavior. So they even did some other things. They went a step further. If you made the commitment and you pledged, they followed up with a phone call. Could have been a friend or a volunteer, someone in the neighborhood that you knew. But even if it was, even if it wasn't, they would just say, um, John, we got your pledge card. You committed to vote. We just want to make sure that you're still planning to go out and vote on election day. And even better, they asked John to think of the plan. John, when do you think you're going to vote? John How are you going to get there? I got hey. one of those phone calls. Yeah. Who's taking you there? Do you need a ride? And John had to articulate and say, you know what? My kids get done school at three. I'm going to pick them up, drop them at home. And you know what, I'll have a couple minutes to go to the, to the school library and vote. Or maybe I'll take my kids there with me. All of these things increase the likelihood that he voted. And scientific research says turnout times can increase 5%, 8%. There's studies where they did it with a student population. And when the kids promised and put their signature on it, 18% increase in voter turnout. This can be very powerful. So the research was compelling. Obama realized it's out there. How do I use it myself? And then he used data analytics to track it and figure out where these techniques working, where these messages working, which ones were working the most. And when you put those two together, it became a very powerful combination. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for watching The Matrix Minute. Don't forget to connect with us on our blog and social media. For more information, go to matrixgroup.net.